in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to make pressed potatoes, which are twice cooked potatoes. And it's a great technique for uh, any small potato. Here I am using fingerlings, but you can also use uh, new potatoes or baby potatoes, whatever you like. You want some aromatics here. I'm using some thyme, a shallot some peeled garlic, and some whole bay leaves. And I also have half olive oil and half canola oil. So you start by placing your small potatoes into a heavy bottom sauce pot. And you want to cover with your half olive oil and half canola oil. And I like to use half and half because olive oil adds a great flavor, but it can be overbearing and sometimes too strong. So I like to cut it with a little bit of canola oil. And once you've covered your potatoes with canola oil, place in your thyme sprigs and your bay leaves. And you're going to slice your shallots and place those into the oil with the potatoes as well. And then you'll take the side of your knife and gently crush the garlic cloves to release their essential oils and place that uh, in the pot along with all the other ingredients. You want to salt for seasoning because during the cooking process, you want to make sure you're seasoning properly. A couple of whole black peppercorns and you're ready to rock. Place this on a high flame and allow it to come up to temperature. And it's going to take about uh, five to ten minutes before it starts to simmer like this. And this is the uh, liquid releasing from the potatoes. And once it starts to simmer, you want to reduce your flame or your heat to the lowest setting and allow it to gently simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until it is knife or fork tender. So you take a little fingerling, you put your knife into it. If your knife point can easily go into the fingerling and release, then you know you're ready to go. Once your potatoes are nice and tender, you want to strain just through any standard strainer to remove the oil and leave you only with the potatoes. And then you're going to take the potatoes and uh, put them on a sheet tray and allow them to cool at room temperature uh, just long enough so they're cold enough to handle. Now, once the potatoes are cool enough to handle, you want to press them against your work surface as shown here. And I'm using gloves to help protect my hands from the heat because they are still hot. And then you're going to release that from the work surface using a bench scraper. And notice how the skin is still attached. Now, once you've gone through and pressed all of your potatoes, you want to cater wrap them, which is basically shown here, which your uh, the, the potatoes are sandwiched in between uh, parchment paper. And I'm wrapping the entire half sheet tray in plastic to make sure that no oxygen can get in uh, to degrade the flavors. These potatoes now are ready for a secondary cooking process like pan frying or deep frying. For more information, check out this episode's show notes at stellaculinary.com slash kp20.